Do you wish that you were insanely fast at the ZZ method? If so, you're in the right place. This is Problem Solved. This three-part video series is for anyone who can use ZZ to solve a Rubik's Cube and wishes to get faster. If you don't know what ZZ is, or you only have a vague idea of how to use it, please check out my beginner's tutorial before watching this video by either clicking here or looking in the description. Let's get started. As I said in the first video in this series, every person that uses the ZZ method falls into one of four skill levels, novice, achiever, expert, and professional. Being the third and final video in this series, this video will cover how to advance from expert to professional. Make sure to stick through to the end of the video, as some critical points to achieving pro status are contained here. Also, feel free to back up and watch any section of this video over again. Like parts 1 and 2, let's begin by defining the expert skill level. Experts use ZZ extremely efficiently to solve the Rubik's Cube and tend to average around 15 to 25 seconds per solve. Let's look deeper into how they do it. To start off, experts always complete the EO line in 9 moves or less. Furthermore, experts also know multiple optimal or near-optimal solutions for all cases in the F2L stage. They use look-ahead to eliminate all but the smallest pauses as they solve F2L. To finish off the solve, experts use a plug-in method such as an OLL skipper, COLL, ZZCT, or phasing to improve their last layer. The rare expert may also be found working on learning ZBLL. With that definition in mind, here's how to become a true pro with ZZ. At this point, there isn't much more to learn. You are an expert after all. The main thing that separates the experts from the pros is speed, so in order to become a pro, you must get faster with ZZ. Here's how. To start off, the EO line needs to be down pat. You should be able to plan it out entirely in just a few seconds. Beyond planning the EO line, figure out where pieces for your first block will end up after completion of the EO line, or even figure out how to form your first block while completing the EO line. This will allow you to more easily look ahead into your first block while solving the EO line. This is very, very important, as true pros never pause between completing the EO line and beginning their first block. And just FYI, all of this planning should be done in less than 12 seconds. Lastly, consider learning how to solve the EO line for multiple, if not all, cube positions to increase your chances of finding a really fast EO line. For F2L, look ahead is key. You cannot achieve pro times when your solves have pauses, especially big ones. Furthermore, this step will need to be executed at a high turn speed. Solving the F2L at a high turn speed without pauses will only come with hundreds if not thousands of hours of practice. As you practice, always put a higher priority on looking ahead to eliminate pauses than using a high turn speed. Furthermore, always work on learning more ways to improve your F2L. Learn multiple ways to form each block and how those various ways affect the rest of the solve. Also, look into multi-slotting and multi-blocking. The last layer is just spamming algorithms at top speed. Master whatever plugin method you use. That means recognizing the cases from any angle and executing the algorithms with maxed out TPS. Hone the finger tricks that you use for each algorithm and drill them over and over again. Ultimately, aim to execute any algorithm in under one second. Lastly, unless you use ZZCT or ZBLL, you may also consider learning another plugin method to help optimize the last layer even further. After those hundreds or even thousands of practice hours, you have joined the professionals. You are among the cubers that nearly flawlessly use ZZ with hyper-efficiency, blinding turn speeds, and minimal pauses, if any, in order to average well under 15 seconds per solve. You are among the true masters of the ZZ method. To wrap up, thank you so much for watching this video series. You are amazing. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel and share it with that friend who is always amazed by your ability to solve a Rubik's Cube. Thanks again for watching. This has been Problem Solved. Over and out.